So let's get something out the way. All men do not cheat. All right. I repeat one more time. I'm laughing, but I'm serious. All men do not cheat. Okay. I was literally just having a discussion before we started recording this video about how I feel like there are two types of men. There are the men who have this desire of women at a greater level to where they will try to go make some things happen, all right? Which, yes, can lead to them engaging in infidelity or cheating in a relationship. Where there's other men, I argue, I argue the majority of men, who if they're getting certain things, they're, they're fine. But we'll dive a little bit more into that specific part at the end of this. So please make sure you watch this whole video because I don't need y'all being triggered by certain points and then tuning off and not hearing the full message, okay? But at the end of the day, because I know or I feel with confidence that all men do not cheat, there are some signs that help you see that this is the kind of guy who is not likely to cheat, all right? And I use the word not likely very for a very specific reason and I'll explain that as well at the end. But let's get to some of these signs of how you can know he won't cheat on you. And sign number one is he is willing to let go of women from his past. So here's the thing. There's a lot of, let me also say this. Don't automatically assume that someone who doesn't do every last one of these things is a cheater. All right. But let me continue. So he's willing to let go of women from his past. There's been tons of relationships that I have seen where people struggle to let go of their exes. Forget struggle. They just flat out don't want to. All right. And and some people, it's not even just exes. It's just people they used to have fun with, whatever the case may be. And again, I'm not going to jump to automatically just because people don't let go of these individuals. That's an automatic sign of cheating. However, when we keep people around, that we've had relations with, we're playing a very dangerous game, all right? When you're in a new relationship, if that man is unwilling, so it's one thing if when you met him, he had these friendships or whatever you want to call it to women he used to deal with, and then you addressed it, and he's willing to release it. This shows you, one, he's very serious, this shows you that he's willing to set those boundaries that you would like him to set, that he he deems reasonable, all right? Um, or, you know, he can agree it, it would, could be a problem. And so there's no reason to, to now think this is the type of guy that's going to go out and do something. But when he shows resistance to that and, and, and trying to find all these kinds of excuses, again, I'm not saying he's automatically a cheater, but I'm just saying this is a problem. Now... I do think the argument can be made that if you met him while he was holding on to these women, even though he goes on to letting them go, you want to have an, you should gain an understanding of why, like what is his deal? Because there are some people who just see it as, listen, nothing wrong with being friends, you know, just because I used to deal with these people, like every, every relationship didn't end on a bad note. Every situation didn't go left. So some people used to kick it with each other, be in relationships with each other, and can still be cool with each other, all right? And I think that's healthy. I think that's two mature adults. There's nothing wrong with that. However, again, I I think the unwillingness to, to now separate from those individuals, or at the very least create boundaries, either speaks to a deeper issue within that man, or someone who's trying to leave doors open to walk through. Just keeping it real. Now, I'm a firm believer that, listen, even with platonic female friends, there's supposed to be boundaries, all right? I've always, I used to say to some of my female friends, I'm like, listen, let's say like uh, a, a, a female friend or a friend who's a woman, I know some people don't like the word female, <laughs> a friend who's a woman uh, would might call me at two o'clock when I'm single, all right? They call me at 2 a.m. And I might say to them, listen, just know you ain't going to have this privilege when I'm in a relationship. You can't just be calling me at 2 a.m. because now there, there's a level of respect that has to be shown. There's a level of boundaries. Now, in fairness, what that level is, is dependent on you and that individual. Because, hey, there might be some people that say, well, I don't care if your friend calls you at 2, 3 in the morning. 
I, I haven't met that person, but some of y'all that might, might exist out there. And if that's if you're cool with that, then you're cool with that. But to get back to the point, when you're not cool with something and he's unwilling to let go, yeah, problem. But when he is willing to let go, that's definitely a good sign of someone who's not going to cheat on you. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. Loyalty is hard to find. Trust is easy to lose and actions speak louder than words. And the reality is that there's a lot of you out there who probably feel like there are no loyal men, that that doesn't exist. It's a 